हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इस एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड सीरीज फेड डायरेक्ट कपल्ड क्लास ए पावर एम्पलीफायर ए सिंपल फिक्सड बायस सर्किट इज शोन इन दिस फिगर it is used to discuss the main features of class a series fed amplifier here rl is the load that is connected in series with the collector so the name is given as series fed amplifier now let us understand the dc analysis let us apply kvl to the output side so if we apply kvl to the output side we can write vcc minus icrc minus vce is equal to 0 therefore we can write vcc minus icrc minus vce is equal to 0 from this we can write vcc is equal to icrc plus vce so this is the expression for vcc from the above expression we can write ic is equal to vcc minus vce divided by rc therefore we can write ic is equal to vcc minus vce divided by rc therefore the dc power input is given as pi dc is equal to vcc into icq so here we can use both the expression of vcc and ic in this formula now let us understand the ac analysis here we will discuss the ac analysis in terms of rms signal the output ac power can be written in terms of voltage and current as p not ac is equal to vce rms into ic rms we can write output power in terms of current and resistance as p not ac is equal to ic square rms into rc also we can write output power in terms of voltage and resistance as p not ac is equal to vce square rms divided by rc these are the expressions for output ac power in terms of rms signal now let us consider an ac signal in this from the origin or the reference line up to the peak value of the signal the voltage is known as peak voltage and from the negative peak up to the positive peak of the signal the voltage is known as peak to peak voltage now let us find the output power using peak signals we know vrms can be given as vm by root 2 and irms can be given as im by root 2 now the output ac power can be given as p not ac is equal to vce rms into ic rms now let us write these rms values in terms of peak signal so we can write p not ac is equal to vce peak voltage divided by root 2 multiplied with ic peak voltage divided by root 2 if we multiply these two values we will get p not ac is equal to vce peak into ic peak divided by 2 now we can write output ac power in terms of current and resistance as p not ac is equal to ic peak square into rc divided by 2 and we can write output ac power in terms of voltage and resistance as p not ac is equal to vce peak square divided by 2 rc 
Now let us derive the expression for output AC power using peak to peak signal. Now let us consider this expression where P naught AC can be written as VCE peak into IC peak divided by 2. If we consider an AC signal, we can understand that the peak voltage is half of peak to peak voltage. That's why we can write the expression as P naught AC is equal to VCE peak to peak divided by 2 into IC peak to peak divided by 2 whole divided by 2. If we multiply these two terms, we can write P naught AC is equal to VCE peak to peak into IC peak to peak divided by 8. So, we can write the above expression in terms of current and resistance as P naught AC is equal to IC square peak to peak into RC divided by 8 and we can write the output AC power in terms of voltage and resistance as P naught AC is equal to VCE peak to peak square divided by 8 RC. Now let us derive the expression for output AC power using maximum and minimum values. If we consider the positive peak of the signal, the voltage is known as maximum voltage and if we consider the negative peak of the signal, the voltage is known as minimum voltage. So, we can write VCE peak to peak as V maximum minus V minimum. In the same way, we can write IC peak to peak as I maximum minus I minimum. So, output AC power can be written as VCE peak to peak into IC peak to peak divided by 8. If we substitute the values of VCE peak to peak and IC peak to peak, we can write the output AC power as V maximum minus V minimum into I maximum minus I minimum divided by 8. So, this is the expression for output AC power in terms of maximum and minimum values of voltage and current. Now, let us understand the maximum efficiency of class A power amplifier. To understand this, let us consider the characteristics of class A power amplifier. At the output current from the origin up to the Q point, the value will be ICQ. That's why IC minimum value will be equal to 0 and IC maximum value will be 2 ICQ. In the same way, the voltage will be having V minimum is equal to 0 and V maximum will be equal to VCC. Therefore, for maximum efficiency, we can write V maximum is equal to VCC and V minimum is equal to 0 and I maximum is equal to 2 ICQ and I minimum is equal to 0. Therefore, the DC power input is given as PIDC is equal to VCC into ICQ and AC power output is P naught AC is equal to V maximum minus V minimum into I maximum minus I minimum divided by 8. Therefore, maximum efficiency can be given as maximum output AC power divided by maximum input DC power multiplied by 100. So, if we substitute the values, we can write V maximum minus V minimum into I maximum minus I minimum divided by 8 VCC into ICQ into 100. If we substitute the values for V maximum, V minimum and I maximum and I minimum, we can write VCC minus 0 into 2 ICQ minus 0 divided by 8 VCC into ICQ multiplied with 100. So, we can cancel out VCC and ICQ value 
So, we will be left out with 2 divided by 8 into 100. So, if you calculate this value, we will get the maximum efficiency for class A power amplifier as 25 percent. This is about series fed direct coupled class A power amplifier. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.